Fine. Now then, start throwing the frame together. This... I gotta go wash my face. This is not really in shot. There we kinda go. This is going to be the outer frame of the plasma cutter. As you can see, it's almost the same height as me. That's worrisome, cause I am gonna have to drag this frame back there when I'm done building it. You can kind of see the shape of the machine. We're gonna have a linear rail at the end of this, one at the end of that, and the gantry is at an angle from plum. The way that this thing is gonna work is I just come in and lean a sheet of metal on top of it, basically making the footprint of the thing nine feet by three feet, which is pretty manageable. I'm just gonna tack everything together until the frame is fully constructed and I know that everything is square, parallel, all that good stuff. I'm building it properly. This is so unlike me. Anyway, uh, I think I need more space, so to the driveway. You know, part of the reason that I don't plan my projects is I think it makes a better video that way to uh, slowly limp my way through. This is all planned out. Where's the conflict in this story? I haven't done this in a while, but I think the best way to get through building this frame is a montage. Oh, this is crazy mother got our basic frame put together. Now is our opportunity to um, demonstrate one of the problems with my existing plasma cutter. This is the problem. See, I made the width of the table 48 inches for, you know, a four by eight sheet. But that was forgetting that these sheets come at 49 inches. So every time I gotta buy steel, I have to cut a whole inch off the side. I'll be real happy to never have to do that again. Now then, let's take a moment of silence and enjoy this old guy's last big job.